What's up? D Rock here, you first outdoors. Jen and North are with me. And we are out on the Arizona Strip <clears throat> doing a little camping. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get up and uh, go do a hike into a place called Snake Gulch. Uh, it's going to be about a 10 mile round trip hike. What's really unique about it is um, it's got some of the best rock art in the area. Just really cool stuff back in there. So that's our plan for tomorrow. Today we came out and we're just kind of wandering around the hills here. Got a little weather here and there, as you can see. Stretching the legs and then uh, go back to the campsite. We've got a nice big fire pit. Get the tent up and everything, cook some burgers later on, but uh, just chill car camping. Pretty fun stuff. So, welcome to the Arizona Strip. I've been coming out here for 15 years or so and uh, never get enough of it. It's an awesome place to come out, get lost, camp, spend some time. Really cool area. And what's over in this area, Kaibab National Forest is this away. And then you've got the Grand Canyon beyond that. Over here, you've got Mount Trumbull in the distance. I've done a video on that. Lots to do out here, lots to see. And like I said, a great place to come out and get lost. So join us. It's going to be a cool little adventure. You going to rain on us, Jen? North, what do you think? Definitely. Yeah. We may get some rain this evening. It's been raining on us off and on all day. I don't think it's going to rain tomorrow. We'll see. Now that we got the wood moved, it's going to miss us. Here comes the rain. <laughs> I think it's just squalls get a little bit then it'll pass and it'll be over that's what it looked like out there anyway we moved the wood <laughs> didn't work still coming down <laughs> oh, it's really coming down now. Nice. <laughs> Good thing we moved the wood, huh? <laughs> All right, well, everything is completely saturated again. So, it's going to be a nice chilly night. Good times, good times. <laughs> All right, well, the squalls passed through. Sun's back out for a second. We're gathering more wood. We've got quite a bit. We had uh, Noah Weather on and... Uh, was it low 30s tonight? Is what the uh, temp's gonna be? Kind of frosty. So, we got about a couple hours left of sunlight, and uh, then it's gonna get a little cold out here, huh, Jen? Yeah, we need moving. <laughs> All right, the sun is shining. Jen is warmed up. Do you want the hams or the slipknot coozer? Hey, I get the pink hams? The pink oh, oh, all right. <laughs> all right, then. What's matter? You don't like hams? <laughs> I just know how much you like pink. Oh, yeah, right. That's true. All right, we got a good pile of wood going. A uh, nice fire going. And weather says should be all clear tonight or clearing out. So we're, we're fairly hopeful that um, 
We're done with the rain. What do you think, Jen? I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah, me too. So it's gonna get a little chilly, without a doubt, but uh, I think we're gonna weather this one out just fine. So. Cheers. It's gonna be good. Got the grill going. We're gonna have some hamburgers, man. They're gonna be good. All right, to make this easy, went ahead and made hamburger patties yesterday. So, got them all set. Just pull them out, throw them on the grill, easy peasy, already seasoned, everything good to go. That's camping with you first outdoors, man. We live large. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. We're gonna go for some doubles here. That's double. Does it, man? Easy peasy. There we are. These are just about done. It takes no time. Ooh. That's how it's done. Gotta griddle the buns. <laughs> Look at that. What? Now we got it. Or oh, come here. Hold that. Look at that, folks. What? Man, are you kidding me? Very nice. Whoa, dude. Get in there. What? Oh, nice. Jen, how was it? Quality. That was a quality burger. <laughs> Would you agree, North? <laughs> nice. Getting chilly, eh, hey, Jen? Yeah. Think it's going to freeze tonight, North? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, sounds like pretty good. It's going to be a cold night for sure. So, the fire's doing us good. Uh, it's finally dark, and um, we're about to call it a night here shortly. So, we'll see you in the morning. Tomorrow, we're going to attempt to hike Snake Gulch if we can get the truck back there. That is, if we don't okay. sink up to the axle in quicksand. Uh, <laughs> we had a couple close calls already. So, uh, hopefully, we can make it back. But we'll see you in the morning regardless. D-Rock out for the night. North out. Ten out. Hound is out. Buenas noches. All right, Buenos Dias. <clears throat> we made it through a rather fun night. It rained all night, huh, Jim? Yeah, all night. Freezing cold. So uh, we got packed up early and we're heading down to the trailhead for Snake Gulch now. So hopefully we can get there. If I recall correctly, this road's got some uh, dips in it that hold water. But uh, I think it should be fine. So we'll see. We don't have. Just have to get down to the back end of this and um <clears throat> i don't think we'll have a problem 
What's so funny, Jen? <laughs> we almost turned all the way around. <laughs> Going a little too fast. Uh, <clears throat> the road is a bit muddy. We uh, lost traction there for a second. Jen was enjoying it, actually, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes you hit some of these mud poles, you just can't creep through them. You got to hit them with some speed. And then sometimes, well, you lose traction and start to start to spin and slide. What are you gonna do? We are here, and this is the beginning of the Snake Gulch Trailhead. It's a muddy, stinking mess. <laughs> so this is the kind of mud we're in. It's just clay crap that you can't get a grip on, and uh, this is a hoot to get out of when you're stuck. All right. We are beginning our hike. And the cool thing about Snake Gulch, so I'll just stop by, is there's lots of rock art in here. That's probably not coming out too well, but cool stuff, cool stuff for sure. So we're gonna go check it out. It's about five miles down to where the big, what I call the amphitheater is. Uh, but along the way, here we are. Um, there's lots of places to uh, have a look at the stuff. And our first panel, so to speak, is going to be a um, small cave about two miles in. It's not a strenuous hike, it's long, like I said, 10 miles round trip. Uh, it's pretty much just flat trail, like down the gulch. So, pretty easy, just some walking. Not that big of a deal. So, let's go find some rock art. So let me make this note right here. Uh, this hike is exposed and by exposed, I mean there's no shade in here. So I typically do this hike <clears throat> springtime, fall, summertime, oh, stay out of here. It's just miserable. Cause you'll be in the sun from the beginning to the end. And this is just, it's just straight down here. Uh, there's no water until you get to Table Rock Springs, which is five miles in. So bring plenty of water and just avoid it in the summertime. It's just not worth it. It's miserable if you can. <clears throat> Lots of vegetation this year. Some years are worse than others back here. But uh, had a lot of precipitation this past winter, so <clears throat> pretty green back here. OK, 
Darren. What? Where? Oh, wow. Can't say I've ever seen a cairn back here. We certainly know where we are now. Wow. Good eye, Jen. <laughs> okay, we're about two miles in and sort of over here is the cave and that's our first big panel, so pretty cool. Wow, it is thick. I've been back here when it's like almost chest high before though, so it's gonna be a whole lot worse. And we got a nice cool breeze on us. So that's good. It'll be had our backs coming out, which is even better. So very pleasant day after freezing our butts off last night, right Jen? Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna cross up in here and head into this cave and have a look at our first set of uh petroglyphs. Walk up here and have a look. Look at all this. Pretty cool. And yeah, here's a look outside from this shelter here. Pretty good view. And I'll do another quick pass by these here. Got some paint on it here. Right there. They're just on top of each other it's been used for so long so this is kind of the start if you will and you got modern graffiti too I mean people just can't help themselves so I might as well say it if you come out here you know it's important to show respect you don't vandalize just you know keep it as it is that's all right that's how you want to be you can tell some are newer than others, for instance, these, you know. All right, let's move on. We got miles to go. So I'm not going to stop and show all of the rock art petroglyphs pictographs because, I mean, it's literally all down the gulch here on the sides. You can find them. So that's part of the, the coolness of this hike is that it kind of involves a lot more exploring off the trail you know trying to figure out where all the, the glyphs are it's a little overgrown like I said earlier sometimes it's not as uh, bushy back here sometimes it is it just depends on the year but um, after the cave uh, the rock art gets fairly common so uh, it's a good good opportunity to keep looking but um, I'll, I'll stop for some choice spots and definitely the amphitheater by Table Rock Springs because that's the, the largest concentration and there's some really cool stuff down there so we're just going to put our heads down and keep on getting down the trail because we got a few more miles to go. So this is a pretty cool one. Definitely remember this one because it's kind of unique. It's uh, <laughs> it's actually an image of two people fighting. Looks like it's done with charcoal or grease or something, but that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Canyon Rim. We got some stuff down here. You know, this might this might be uh, wagon grease. It looks like there's a number there. Could be wrong. 
long, but uh, this is obviously a horse or something. So we're kind of under the impression that this is probably wagon grease graffiti. And it looks like there's a number right there maybe that says 63 or 68 or something. So that could have been 1868. And then obviously you've got the, uh, the boxing match here. That looks like there's some mitts on the hands or something, but uh, you know, it's all, it's all up for interpretation, of course. <laughs> so just up ahead, right in here, there's some pretty good glyphs. I'll roll up there and do a quick shot of that. But you pretty much want to keep your eye out, not just on the right side, but there's stuff on the left side too. Like I said, I mean, every time I come in here, I see new art. So it's, it's full up for sure. Oh, I gotta walk up a little bit to this one. Nice and humid back here now. As you can see, some pretty good preserved stuff here. This one always catches my eye. Kind of interesting. Whew. Pretty cool, huh, Jen? That's looking down the gulch there, where we came from. All right, these, these are really cool. Check this out. Come here, get down, get down. Let's do it with the shot down the gulch there. That's pretty cool. So some of these are really interesting. Like, if you really look at it, especially the head part, it really makes you wonder. Excuse the panting dog. <laughs> you have no idea how big these are, so they're pretty big. There's some bigger ones too. And once again, I'll say it again: uh, it's important not to touch these, deface them. This is, you know, it's very important to keep as is. And these should preserve for a while longer because they're not really in the sun so much. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, like I said, I always find a new new piece in here. And today I found I've never seen is an actual handprint. That is incredible. Look how that's my hand. I'm not touching this, but that's my hand compared to it. It is a tiny hand. It's almost like a child's hand. That's crazy. All right, so there's another. There are cocopellis in here, and this one's playing a flute. This could be a cocopelli here, so you can tell it's got right there. So that's interesting. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this one either. What's that? Oh yeah, this is an awesome area. starts to kind of narrow up a little bit before we get to the amphitheater. <coughs> All right, so these are really cool right here. And they've actually got their headdress on. Look at this. That's pretty cool. And that's looking down the gulch there. Really nice. All right, I gotta get this panel here because <clears throat> there's a lot, there's a Coco Pelli right here. And check this out. And you got the flute player right there. 
making it happen. Ancient. And then right over here, you got some, you got a whole lot of stuff going on over here. Really cool. And we got some more modern graffiti here. Tim Grace, I think that says, 1969. I've got the Martins, 1956. So, you know, everyone's... I was just telling Jim, this could be interpreted as a map, this right here. So we start right there, and then we go around through the gulch. And then right there, that big circle, that's what I call the amphitheater, and then directly cutting to the left there is, uh, that's where the springs are. And then to the right, there's a big cave that uh, there was granaries in there that held, uh, found corn cobs in there. So I don't know, it's always up for interpretation, but uh, it's a cool pound regardless. All right, so this is a crazy one right here. Check that one out. I can't really get a zoom up there, but it's definitely a male figure. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> All right, this is a, it's a big one right here, and it's kind of interesting. Because you got, uh, walk up here. You got an upside down guy right there. And then, oh, it looks like a bunch of turkeys and stuff. But obviously, someone took a header there. Maybe this is Suicide Cliff, huh? <laughs> All right, so we're about to uh, what I call the amphitheater. And just behind that's going to be Table Rock Springs. I'm not actually going to go to the spring. There's really nothing to it. You go around behind. Uh, I'll show you once you get to the top of this hill right here. So you'll see how it juts out right there. The springs are right around the corner from this. Uh, there's some glyphs and stuff back there but what's really cool is uh i call this little area the amphitheater and right up in here in this big alcove there's some really big pictographs so we're gonna go up there it's shaded check them out have a rest have some lunch and enjoy the view so we'll see you up there right over there all right we're heading over to uh, South Cove here. It's got a bunch of glyphs up in it, but this would be a good time to mention that uh, if you do this hike, it's a good idea to wear long pants <laughs> because we're going to be in the bush and it's pretty thick. So, yeah, just a heads up for that. Lots of doves back here. And we got a trail going right up here. It should be a register up here too. We got some really cool pictographs up in here. Big ones. Yeah, this is the uh, most hike up you're gonna get on this little jaunt. Oh, there's a register. Can't zoom up, but these are really cool pictographs up there. All right, let's see. 
The last visitors were May 6th, 2019. So actually just a few days ago. Nice visiting the paintings again. Good flowers too. Gotcha. So I came out here for the first time 15 years ago. This is my very first hike in the area I did after moving out here. So pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, I had to add our little log. D-Rock Gen North, you first outdoors. Booyah, awesome hike, great art. First time doing this hike 15 years ago. Still find it amazing. What do you think, Jen? It is amazing. Yeah, sweet. All right, we're gonna take a break, have something to eat and drink, refresh, and then uh, walk out. It's kind of monotonous. <laughs> it's five miles back that way in the sun. <laughs> so that's why I say you start early in the morning, but uh, you turn around to hike back out, it's in the full sun and it's just, it can be a beat down depending on what time of year you come out here. That's why I said stay out of here in the summertime if you can. It's just miserable coming out in this. But we'll have the wind at our backs. It shouldn't be too bad. And we got here right around noon. We started, uh, what, about 8.39? Yeah, 9.30. About 9.30. So a few hours to get out here. We stopped and checked out. And I didn't, I didn't record, you know, half the glyphs. So there's, there's a lot more to see out here for sure. And the glyphs go all the way around up here. All this. You got turkeys, anthropomorphic, zoomorphic figures, all kinds of stuff. So. I'll leave it for you to come out here and have a look. But uh, yeah, really impressive for sure. So I guess I can get up there and get oh. better look here. Definitely cool up there. ones there's no way I can get over there <clears throat> but I'll give you an idea the glyphs right here are really cool <laughs> very cool they're really big too they're like probably four feet high so they're they're big glyphs for sure <laughs> so these right here these are actually uh turkeys i can't really get but that's what those are pretty impressive huh jen yeah, incredible. what do you think north huh? what do you think awesome. yeah All right, well, there's a couple, there's a choice spot I wanna hit on the way back, but um, I think it tapers out right around the corner. You go around this here and come back and Table Rock Springs is back there. So uh, <clears throat> if you need to get out there and pump some water, there is water behind here. But um, after all this, I don't think that, I think it tapers off as far as rock art. At least that's what I've been told. But you can continue down this Snake Gulch here and it'll drop you into Kanab Creek. And you can hook a left into Kanab Creek and walk that all the way down to the Grand Canyon. So a couple options out here. And uh, yeah. So we're going to check out another spot and then we're going to head on back. <laughs> all right. Well, back through the mess. Get back to the uh, trail. See you over there, hound.
All right, so this is the last little panel I'm gonna record. And in my opinion, this is the piece de resistance. So I swear it's a self-portrait, but you gotta kind of climb up on this ledge here. And we're, that's the alcove back there we were just in. So it's kind of across the way. So, you've got this one here, which is really cool. And you've got, sun's blazing on it, so you can't really see it as well, but really cool stuff right there. But the one that always gets me, and actually you've got to kind of slide out to it off this ledge here. Really impressive here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see with the sun like that, but it's you've got a full-grown person. You've actually got facial features here. It's really cool. Yeah, get to this is a. Uh, Kind of a drag, but ooh, you want to watch that block with. <laughs> By the way, uh, there you have it. These are a little hard, difficult to make out with the sun blazing on it, but um, when you get a little shadow on it, they're really vibrant. So it's amazing they're still uh, preserved as they are. But it's pretty cool with the, the glyph and then looking down the gulch there. So this is the one I was just tucked up in right here. I don't know if the camera's picking it up too well, but uh, it's really incredible. And then you got some more right up there. Just uh, it's cool stuff. Yeah, see, I've never seen this clip before. Looks like, I don't know if the camera's picking up up there, but uh, it's actually like, got his hand on his head, like, what? What's going on? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And then right, right up in here, uh, there's somewhere right there, there's a big old petroglyph, probably a coyote. Not, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but cool stuff, cool stuff, Jen. Well, Ready to hike five miles back? Five short miles. Hey, at least it's a track. <laughs> yeah, at least it's flat. All right, we're going to burn this out. We'll see you back at the truck.
Slow down. <laughs> Taking a water break. All right, so the cave is just right up this hill here. So we've got approximately two miles left. And uh, it doesn't seem like much, but the last two miles are an absolute grind. I mean, they are. You just had it. You're already, what, eight miles in it now? Probably more than that because you've been branching off and exploring along the sides. Coming back, full sun. Just, that's why I say, stay the hell out of here in the summertime. Yeah, for sure. How many steps? Tell us. There's approximately 2,500 steps in a mile. You've We've been counting. about 7,500 steps. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you pass the time. <laughs> it is. It's lots to see back here, but coming back out, it is just monotonous. So you just kind of just got to put your head down and just get through it. Count your steps. Yeah, count your steps. Whew, a few more to go. All right, we have laid eyes on the top of the truck. So we are just about out of here. Final two miles, almost complete. And dare I say, the most miserable part of the hike. <laughs> it is, it sucks. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but it's nice level ground, but you just, you just over it. Come on, you know, you understand, right? We've all been there. Thoughts on the hike, Jim? I would never do it in the middle of summer, but it is totally worth it to see what you see down there. That is so cool. Yeah. Definitely cool. What about you, North? Thoughts on the hike? I have no idea how the Indians survived this. I can't last an hour in it. Yeah, rough country out here. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Support for the channel is greatly appreciated. Stay safe out there, folks. We got a lot more adventures coming your way. We'll see you next time. D Rock out. Hound is out. Adios.